between London and New York, we have the best cocktail scene, so you've got to stand out. You've got to push forward and do things that no one really is doing. And what better way than controlling the spirits that you put in a drink? From leaving school, I played cricket and then got injured because of my nightlife activities. I like going out as a sportsman. I got to know quite a few bartenders and started working in bars and my nature as a sportsman took over and I want to be the best at it. The idea and ethos behind Peg and Patriot is, a, is about having great drinks and distilling our own spirits and being as self-sufficient as possible. In terms of our, our more unusual ingredients, we have Marmite. We uh, break down the Marmite into, into raw spirit and ethanol, add in a powdered acid and we infuse that into the spirit and then we distill it. So you distill all of the solids and but you keep all the flavour. We make them more subtle than what you would imagine. So you see still a drink in a super tasty drink. This is our rotary evaporator. At the moment we're distilling uh, Maltesers. You can boil things and start the vapour at a really low temperature. So this is, we've got this, this is at 61 at the minute. But you can distill milk and flowers, that stuff that you don't want to burn or keep the, all the freshness. It spins, and you've got different rotations. You, the more you spin it, the more air you put inside the liquid. It's connected to a, a chiller that's down here. So as it goes into the, into the chiller and the chilled coil, it turns back to a liquid. These are made in Switzerland. They're actually the purpose of separating solvents uh, to make drugs. Everyone that sees it says it's like Breaking Bad. Everyone's like, you're making meth? No, no. You're making Maltesers. <laughs> How we get our knowledge and the reason why we do things the way we do is all through history, really. We still respect the job that bartenders for the previous 150 years have been doing. You can't learn about the future of bartending if you don't understand where it came from.